Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Commodities Update video. And today we'll be looking at natural gas, UNG, oil, silver, and US dollar. So we'll be um, looking at support and reasonable levels, as well as the most likely scenario where price would be heading into later next week. So we have the, we started with natural gas. And if you guys are looking for the stock market update video, I'll be doing that tomorrow. And we'll be looking at QQQ, S&P 500, Tesla, Nvidia, Apple, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and Meta. And let's get started. So natural gas here is looking at this tiny range is still forming so we are looking at this downtrending resistance right here and so we have four rejections here and another two rejections here as well and currently the support line is right here so we have bounced off of it many times here as well bounce off here again and we're just forming a tiny range within this range obviously this is the bottom of their support but currently we need to break this one before we even look at this one at this moment we zoom into the hourly time frame to take a look to see if there's any signs of it potentially topping out or um, we're bottoming out so over here very clear tiny range on the hourly you can see as well um, even on the hourly and the daily we're also both tiny up so we need to break the hourly tiny range first before we can um, understand where it's going to be breaking out of this daily range, right? So early first. So if we do break out of this range currently um, down at this 3.45 right here, we come down here on Monday, we're likely to be testing, we'll be, open, we'll be opening here. So if we do break that, we're also going to be breaking this uptrending support as well. Um, Two confluences of support here. So if the bulls cannot hold this, um, we're definitely getting a bear break out of this hourly equilibrium. If we bounce from here, then we're coming back up to 3.57 again to retest top of this range on Monday. That'll be key of what I'll be looking at. And if we do break that um, bearish on Monday, that means we'll be breaking out of this uptrending support over here. Then I'll be looking back to this original equilibrium where we are looking like um this level here support sorry resistance and support that's only if we get a bear break uh, out of this original one uh, monday if not then we may potentially come up to test this upper range as well if we do get a bull break of this tiny range we're looking at back up at this one where we have been rejecting from this one ever since back in May. So rejection, rejection, rejection. And if we do come back up here, we'll see if we can break that or not. So those are the two scenarios we'll be looking at, depending on which this hourly equilibrium breaks, bearish or bullish. A couple of scenarios going on here. And then we'll go from there. Let's take a look at the weekly charts. You've been having, um, yeah, just tiny up as well. Monthly. Monthly still in the bull bear flag because of the significance of this drop. Regardless of how far we bounce, we're still going to be in a bear flag because we need to break above 4.75, which is a million miles away. So we don't have to look into it too much at this moment, as long as we know it's in a bear flag. But um, not, it's not very significant to me. All right, let's take a look at UNG. UNG is a tradable ticker for natural gas. And it's also a tiny range uh, in an hourly chart as well. You can see um, this one right here. So if it, does, if it continues to tighten here, same thing. If it breaks bare out of this one, then we're looking back down at this original um, tiny range back here. If we get a bull break out of this one, then we're looking back up at 7.6. It's very clear resistance support if we do draw this right here. So this one's going to break first, depending on which uh, way natural gas trades on Monday. And you can see we're pretty much at the end of the pattern already. Um, if we go into Monday, yeah, very clear break on um, if natural gas breaks right there over here on Monday. Then we'll get that bear break on UNG as well. If we do bounce from here and we will get this um, yes of this top of this range, 7.47 on UNG. So Monday is actually quite key, uh, Monday and Tuesday. If, let's see, can we get to Tuesday? Yeah, we still 
on Tuesday, still we're still over here. So Monday and Tuesday is quite key for natural gas to see which way the hourly equilibrium breaks. Um, doesn't mean once we get the hourly break, um, it's game over for whichever side it breaks because we still have another um, tightening range on the daily chart. That's a bigger one. That's um, the one we just looked at. So we'll see which way it breaks very soon. Because even if we break bear on that one, we're back down looking at this one. Same thing with natural gas. We're back breaking, looking down that one as well. If we do bear break this current one right there on the hourly charts. Rolls over, we're still fine. We're probably going to bounce from here and still tightening up into um, end of the month here. And if we break that, obviously, we could sign for the bulls. Then we'll come up to test um, upper range of these areas here. Resistance over here around this 7.9 zone. So we'll see which way the tiny range breaks very, very soon. All right, let's take a look at oil. So oil here is after his bear break, it's just chopping around sideways and so nothing much going on. Yeah, we've been looking at this tightening range for a while. So this is what it looks like when a tightening range bear breaks, bear breaks, retests, rejects, and now we're currently testing this double bottom. And if it continues to chop sideways like this down here, then there's a good chance we may roll over and test 73. Um, because this is the same, same idea as consolidating at a high range. So if, for example, if we bounce, and just consolidate at the range. That means we're still striking distance to break resistance. And this is a similar idea where we drop, consolidate down here, then there's a good chance that we may break support. And so take a look at the hourly. Same thing, we see retest, retest, retest three times. Cannot get over prior uh, resistance. This is prior support acting as a triple resistance over here and rejection of the third time on the hourly. And so this chances of it rolling over, is going to be higher than bouncing because it's the third time that we have tested this or now acting as resistance. Yeah, but uh, this is looking like a little bit like a megaphone here. So we'll see how this megaphone trades out. Uh, megaphone just means um, we hit a lower low, no follow through, hit a higher high. This high is higher than prior high, no follow through. You can see we hit a higher high here again. This high is higher than this, no follow through. Hit a lower low again. This low is lower than this low, no follow through. That's just what a megaphone looks like. And currently is still trading within it. The idea is that uh, we still cannot get over this. We're looking prior support now acting as resistance. So as long as the bulls can get over that, bears are in control. All right, let's take a look at gold. Go still chopping in this zone and is looking at like that head and shoulders that I talked about earlier this week might play out here. Um, left shoulder, head, right shoulder starting to form. We pull back a little bit. So if we pull back a little bit more into 1969 and break that, go lower a little bit here, then we're confirming a daily downtrend. We may break the neckline as well. So a head and shoulder pattern is pretty much a bond into a downtrend. But the idea, if we do break this candle's low right there, um, 1969.77, that wick, then that's a daily downtrend confirming. Then we may get more follow through on the head and shoulders pattern back down to this 1940 area where it was acting as prior resistance back to support. So we'll see if that happens. And on the hourly charts here, let's take a look. Yeah, so if we break right, today's low, and that's an hourly downtrend confirming. And if we get that, we're probably going to retest that. Um, this 197, 1969.77 low, um, which is the daily pivot that bulls need to hold. Otherwise, we get a daily downtrend. Yeah, hourly trend will be our guide. So if they could, bulls can negate that and retest 2004, then we have a chance of testing the black resistance where it's at 2 Zero one six, but uh, if hourly downtrend confirms here, then we're going to come down to this um, this pivot low for sure, and test that daily trend. So we'll see if that can hold. All right, the U.S. dollar. So the U.S. dollar pretty much rolled over, and we are out of that megaphone. So we have been looking at this megaphone resistance support. 
exactly that spot, form the wick, then roll over. After um, the FOMC day, we had a lot of uh, macro news going on, Fed pivots, talks, and all that kind of stuff, um, rate cuts. Um, you guys can look at that on my stock market update video. So I talked about those um, datas in uh, tomorrow. I'll be up uploading those videos if you guys want to check that out. And um, so, yes, yeah, so obviously, US dollar gets affected by the macros. And essentially, we pretty much came down, test this 105 support, prior resistance, prior support, prior support, prior resistance, prior resistance, prior resistance, now I can support. It's very clear, big flush down to the support. If we gap up above um, to this megaphone low on Monday, then this pattern still holds. But if we just roll down, back test, and go lower, then we have broken this pattern and we have now the support has become resistance. If there's a gap up on Monday, we're back within the pattern. There's just a fake out. So we'll see about that uh, on Monday. We can get a back test, bounce, and just test it here and then reject. And that's a clear uh, break of the pattern. So we'll see about that on Monday. Yeah, we are kind of. He almost came back to back test it here on the hourly. And uh, we rolled over, and then that's a clear back test. Now, support acting as resistance. So we will see if it happens. But we are a little bit oversold, so we may get, um, get a bounce back into it. So we'll see what happens. That's just the hourly oversold for it doesn't really, doesn't mean anything much to me because daily is still not oversold. It's just the hourly chart is. Not that big of a deal. The bulls can just, let, the bears can just let it cool off a little bit, and then it can go roll a lot lower just from there. Um, if it's if it was daily, if it was daily oversold, weekly oversold, uh, monthly oversold, then that's a whole different story versus just an hourly oversold. Um, but that is a complicated topic. Let's get to silver. So silver, similar to gold. You can see, um, but it's slightly a little bit stronger, but a similar look to it. Just chopping around here and it's also just a tiny range um, a very clear tiny range you can see this is the high this low is lower than prior low this low is also prior lower than prior high and this is low it's higher higher than the prior low higher low higher low so what does that mean it just it's just a triangle tightening up because each time is lower each time is higher and just forms a tiny range so we'll see which way this tiny range breaks you can see it's quite clear if we do actually draw it. Um, something like this. You can even drag this down for the wicks. But uh, the idea is that we know it's a tiny range. So as long as silver trades within the tiny range, um, we know where it's going to be. Uh, yeah. See, we almost broke below this prior low and just held slightly above it. And then we have V-shaped. So yeah, very clear, tiny range. We're just shy above this high a little bit. So definitely resistance around here. This is also a bull flag on the hourly. Actually, eh, because of this pullback, it look as good, but you can go to the two hour and it'll probably still be a bull flag. Yeah, okay. This candle is, this wick, needs to be within that other one for it to look like a bull flag like that. So a three hour will be a bull flag because of um, the size of the retracements. Uh, the idea is tiny range is more important than that, the, this bull flag. The, um, it's not significant to me because this is a very sideways chopping range and it won't matter that much for me unless it's a clear break above 23 and this high as well to be a bull break of the tiny range. That's all for you guys. If you guys um, got any questions, really comment below. If you guys made it this far or learned anything, feel free to subscribe, like, or share. And I'll be doing the stock market update video tomorrow. And make sure to check that out. And if you are looking for any of the mega cap tech stocks, it's always also included in the stock market update video. Have a great rest of you guys this weekend.